Hello my loves, I hope you're all really well, hope you're cosy, hope you are snuggled under a nice festive blanket, hope you've got a Christmas candle lit, I hope you've got your tree up, Christmas, it's officially Christmas and I thought what better way to celebrate the start of our favourite season than a big old B&M bargains haul, honestly guys what a time to be alive, <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is doing that thing that it does in every single video. B&M is so good at the moment. I can't stay away. Um, I feel like it's part of my weekly routine to pop into B&M and just see what new things they have because they always have such amazing things. I did that thing again where I popped in. This happens every time. Popped in just to have a browse. I was like, we don't need anything. Let's not, let's not, leave B&M with four bags today, Gemma. And I, I just couldn't not. Hey, my loves, if you haven't already, get yourself a nice, big, cozy, hot drink. Crack open the, crack open the family circle, the Christmas bickies. And I'm really looking forward to sharing with you what I picked up from B&M. So in today's haul, we've got Christmas decks, home bits, cleaning, some baby bits, um, and also some gift ideas as well. First things first, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Casetify. And I think a phone case from Casetify makes such a great gift idea for absolutely anyone in the family as Casetify have over 300,000 cases. There really is something for everyone. Also, you can add personalization to your phone case. So if you are buying as a gift, you can add something to the case to make it a little more special. Casetify also have loads of really fun accessories. I personally love the phone straps. I've actually got a couple of these on their way, which I'm super excited to receive. And I also think they make such an amazing gift, a great stocking filler. So I have a few of Case Defy's most popular phone cases to show you guys today. And also as well, when you order from Case Defy, your phone case will come in almost like this gift box, which is free of charge. This just comes with every phone case. And I think that just makes such a lovely little touch as a gift. I just wanted to mention as well, if you are buying a iPhone 14 case, you can actually drop your phone from up to 11.5 feet and your phone will stay protected in case device new tech called EcoShot. And they are also made from 65% plant-based materials, which is amazing. So let me show you these phone cases. So this is one of my personal favorite ones, which is the cloud print. Like I said, there's over 300,000 print cases to choose from. We also have as well, this polka dot design, which I think is really pretty. Again, very minimal. And then we have this design as well. I'm loving all the monochrome. I think that's so cool. And as you can see, the case to my phone cases are nice and sleek as well. They're not bulky. Yeah, I will leave a direct link down below for Casetify. If you click my link, you will save 15% off your order. But yeah, like I said, I think a phone case is such a great gift idea. Everyone uses their phone every single day. And also, like I said, it will keep your phone protected. You can choose a really cool print and you can also add personalization to make it specific for the person you are buying for. Okay, we are starting with one of my favorite items of this haul. I'd usually save this to last, but I'm excited. It's that time of year, guys. The teddy fleece bedding is here. Now, whenever I see this in B&M, it's Christmas for me because this right here represents Christmas. If you've never experienced a night in teddy fleece bedding, then oh my goodness, you are in for a treat it's so cozy it literally feels like you are sleeping wrapped in a cloud so this was 30 pounds this is king size obviously they had other sizes they also had some other colors as well i feel like they had a gray and like a charcoal color i went for white because i felt like it was the most crispy cri cri uh, i speak the most christmasy ist is that even a word? So now I usually like to do my B&M hauls in categories, but today, today we're just, we're just going in. We're just going in with, we're dipping in all the random bags. So next, you guys would have seen these on my last vlog because I did a little mini B&M 
um, new in. We went and had a look around the shops and I just couldn't not pick these up. I thought they were such a bargain. So this is a big box of 51 luxury tree decorations. They're all different. They're all like so beautiful and detailed. And they reminded me of all of the baubles that I have on my tree because on my tree, as you guys can see, that rhymes, that was very satisfying. All of the baubles are like different types of gold and champagne. Um, and these baubles are ones that I've collected over the years from different shops. And some of them were about like two to four pounds a bauble. So I just thought this pack was an absolute bargain, 15 pounds. And like I said, they're all really beautiful. Let me get some out and show you. So there's like loads of different detailed ones. Look at this one. How gorgeous. With this, obviously, you get the box as well. So when you go to pack away your Christmas decorations, I don't even want to think about the thought of packing them away right now. But when you do, you've got a bag to put them in. So you've also got a storage bag. Next up, I picked up these Glitter Snow window stickers. How cute are they? I love the Santa in his sleigh. Whenever I see Santa in his sleigh, it just makes me feel like really... I was gonna say sad, just like emotional, honestly. I think that scene of like Santa flying through the sky with his reindeers, my eyes actually feel like they're going watery. There's just something about it that makes me feel so nostalgic. It's such like a magical scene and it makes me feel like I'm gonna cry. What is wrong with me? If I ever think about Christmas too deeply and like Santa and just the pure magic that comes with Christmas, I could cry. I thought these would be fab for Noah's nursery. Obviously, I want to make Noah's nursery a little bit Christmassy. Um, and I just thought these would be so nice to pop on the window. I think he'll really like looking at those. Um, and yeah, thought they were really nice. So they were £2.50. Again, lots of different ones of these in B&M. This is one of my favourite things. Am I just going to say that about every single item in this B&M haul? Probably. This is my favourite, this is my favourite, oh this is my favourite. And this is a storybook collection advent calendar and it's Disney, how cool is it? Again, B&M had loads of different themes. They had Coco Melon, they had Marvel, Disney Princess, they had Gruffalo which was like an activity book which would be great for slightly older children. Um, and I just thought what an amazing idea for little ones. So. Noah's really enjoying his books at the moment. I feel like he he's five months at the moment, so he's he's starting to get into this really cool, I feel like this is my favorite age yet. I'm probably gonna say that about every single age, but he's in this age at the moment where he is really starting to like get things. So he gets books, he like really enjoys them, and it just melts my heart. And I thought he would really love this. I think it's such a nice thing to do each probably night before bed we'll open a new um let me show you inside we'll open a new window <laughs> so cute of december and we can read a little book and also as well the books let me show you one of them they're so good because they're not just like short they're like quite long books so i thought they'd be great for kids of all ages look they're like this and they come in this little sleeve as well so they're like wrapped up and they're like a proper little book. I just can't get over what a good idea. Okay, those were all the items that weren't in bags. So let's start with bag number one. So I picked up these baubles. You guys would have seen these in my decorating my Christmas tree with me, which is now live. I'll pop it on screen. I'll also link it down below, but these are brilliant. These are 40 mini gold baubles. They are three pounds and these were so, so, so handy when decorating the tree, just to kind of like fill in any gaps. They were great as filler baubles. They were also great to pop at the top of the tree as well. You know, when you don't really want too much going on at the top, but you also don't want it to look empty. So I think they are such a bargain. And I also picked up the slightly bigger ones. So these are like a medium size. And then obviously these are the small ones. They also had bigger ones as well. And I'm actually gonna add these to the tree a little bit later on today because there are some bits that just look a little bit empty. And I feel like these, again, great filler baubles. And these were three pounds. Now, you guys know, if I came out of B&M without a mug, something would be wrong. Something would be very wrong. Um, and I just feel like the mugs in B&M this year are so amazing. 
So I picked up these two and I'm obsessed with them. I'm gonna make Jamie and I a big mug of hot chocolate in these tonight. He's probably gonna be not very impressed because he's gonna take one look at this cup and think that was not in the mug cupboard. Why do we have more mugs? So this one says hot chocolate and chill very fitting and i love the size of these you guys know i love a big mug what i'm drinking from today is gigantic and also from b&m and i just think you can't beat a b&m mug these were three pounds fifty such a big size like the perfect hot chocolate mug i also picked up this green one which just made me feel very festive and this one says cozy cup of joy -la 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 -la. some of these little cupcake cases ready for all of the festive baking that we're going to be doing how cute is this i feel like this year obviously because it's the first year that i've had a baby but it was the year that i could go into b m and properly look at all the bits they have for kids because honestly they have such amazing things for little kids get a little santa pencil in there you get a dear santa letter an envelope stickers and there's another envelope in there a thank you letter to santa um and also a santa stop here sign i just thought that was so cute this was one pound and i can't wait to do this with noah every single year um i'm gonna like start lots of really lovely traditions with him this year so we're going to be writing letters to Santa. I am going to make him a really cute Christmas Eve box. Um, we're also going to obviously leave out bits for Santa and his reindeers. And yeah, I'm I'm really, really looking forward to his first Christmas. I It's my mission. It's my mission to make it very special for him and start all of these really lovely traditions that we will do each year. And yeah, I can't wait for that. So this gigantic let me sit back santa sack and i thought this was brilliant for noah's gifts today. we are on to the next bag i got some gingerbread cookie cutters there are three different sizes these were two pounds fifty and these are for a new tradition which i'm going to be starting this year with noah which is our gingerbread baking making day so my friend jess every single year i think she does it on like the 23rd or 24th I'm not sure it's one of those days but she basically makes her own gingerbread house from scratch and decorates it and it's always been a tradition that she does that I've always wished that I'd done so I'm gonna start that for Noah this year um, I think it'll be really special we can make one every single year decorate it and yeah I think it'll be really cute so I picked up these okay this is super cute so this is a Christmas Eve set and in here you get a Santa treat plate and it reminded me of the Santa plate on the Grinch. You know where he takes the Grinch and he's like, Santa, bye bye. And there's also a reindeer food plate and I just thought they were so cute. Honestly guys, I, I need to be the magic. I need to be the Christmas magic for Noah. That is like my, such an important thing to me to be the Christmas magic for him because I know how magical my parents made Christmas and I need to be that person for him. I need to make Christmas so special for him and yeah, it just means a lot to buy all of these little bits this year and start like this yearly tradition. Then the rest of the bits in this bag are some gifts that I got for Noah started collecting. So this might be a little bit boring for some of you, um, but I thought I would show you. First up, Noah loves bath time. It is one of his favorite things. Got him some of these bath time buddies. Got him this little remote with each one of these have like a different sound then i got him a few little books like i said he's really loving his books at the moment I got him this one which is called that's not my otter i love otters i love them did you guys know that they um <laughs> this is so cute otters hold hands when they're asleep so they don't lose each other and if you google like otters sleep and holding hands oh my god why is it making me want to cry they literally float down the river holding hands like this so they don't lose each other i got him this otter book and it's got these like touchy feely bits in which he's enjoying at the moment 
Oh, so cute. And I picked up this Christmas book, which is called Letters to Santa. B&M had quite a few different Christmas books. And the plan is to collect a good few Christmas books so every single year we can get these out with our Christmas decorations when we obviously decorate the tree and decorate the house. And I can switch up Noah's bookshelves to all Christmas books, which I thought would be really nice. This bag, I got another one of these Christmas Eve boards that you leave up for Santa because I loved this and I loved the plate so I just got both and then I'll decide which one I want to keep but this was five pounds it's this lovely wooden board and there's different sections which I thought was so cute so it says dear Santa here is a drink for you you can pop some milk on there and then here's some of your favorite snacks we can pop some homemade cookies on there and then we've got a carrot for Rudolph I just thought that was so cute excited about these I picked up the snowman and the snow dog anything with the snowman on honestly i'm such a sucker for this packaging anything with the snowman on i need it i absolutely need it so these are coconut logs marshmallow enrobed enrobed i've never heard that word enrobed in coconut and white chocolate flavored coating should we try one these sound really yummy Ooh, 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 I was not expecting that. They're giant. Oh, I think these are gonna be so nice. Mmm. Mmm. I love the crunch of the chocolate and then the soft marshmallow. So there's marshmallow inside, white chocolate on the outside, and then coconut sprinkles. Do you know what these would be? Why am I dribbling? They're so nice. These would be amazing with a hot chocolate as like a stirrer. So you could make your hot chocolate and then stir one of these in and the white chocolate would go all melty. There'd be the hot chocolate on there and then you'd have the marshmallow. I think that would be so nice. Do you know what tonight the plan is? Coconut logs, new mugs, hot chocolate, Christmas film. More baking bits. I thought these were really nice. So these are cake tin well loaf tin liners and i make a lot of banana bread i make a lot of like loaf sized cakes because they're just so easy like whenever we have i'm still dribbling from my, my coconut log pull yourself together Gemma. honestly like i said i make a lot of loaf type cakes so i just thought these would be really nice to make them festive and these were two pounds next two bags guys are cleaning bits so if you love a little bit of a B&M cleaning haul, you've come to the right place because let me tell you, Christmas is in full force down B&M's cleaning aisle. Orange and cinnamon for Febreze plugins. Say what? Is that a scratch and sniff? Oh, it is as well. I didn't think it would be. Oh, guys, look at these. Christmas. Scrub daddies. Oh, these are scrub mummies, sorry. Scrub mummies. Oh, this is a textured one. Oh, I love these ones. Let me get it out so I can show you. I can show you my sponge. I said no one ever. They're like duo. This side is spongy, this side is hard. I've got the star one. And also the Christmas tree. <laughs> and this one's also duo sided as well. <gasps> A good ginger, uh, I can't speak. A gingerbread minky. I'm gonna interrupt the cleaning haul with a new snack to try. Look at these. So I think these are like a Kinder. A Kinder, Ferrero, Duplo. They look amazing and we need to try them immediately. The reason I went for these and not the Kinder is because they look like they've got some kind of biscuit in there and I love a biscuit filling. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. B&M know what they're doing with snacks. Honestly, it's the greatest place to go for different snacks. So these are like the little Kinder balls that you get at Easter. And I think they've got a cereal filling. They've got little crunchy bits in the filling and they are delightful. This is like that in a bar form. Very boring purchase, but I picked up some fairy Christmas edition. Look, it's got like Christmassy. Is this Christmas? Oh no, it's pomegranate. Why did I think that was a Christmas scent? 
maybe it's just like Christmas branding, but I thought it was a Christmas scent, but it's absolutely fine. It still looks very festive. Um, and also as well, this is such a boring thing to say, and I can't believe I'm even saying this, but these new fairy bottles are fab that don't have the lid. They've got like an anti anti-leak technology actually it says on the it says on the tin but yeah they're great literally just squeeze and go i really enjoy this fairy bottle i have never seen one of these before and needless to say i got very excited about it scrub daddy no it's not even a scrub daddy it's a scrub daddy dish daddy and it's one of those that you fill up with your fairy liquid and when you're scrubbing the dishes the fairy liquid comes out um, oh, what's this? What's this? Squeezy. <gasps> I'm thinking that squeezy bit, as you're scrubbing your dishes, you press that down and fairy liquid comes out. Wow, this is revolutionary. Is that correct? Yeah, push to dispense soap. Not me <laughs> getting ridiculously excited about my new soap dispensing dish wand. Self standing, it's got a stand as well so happy with this let's get him out properly i want to have a good look oh he looks like a potato amy's gonna be well impressed with this next christmas so flora but not just so flora we've got so flora spice i can't speak Zoflora Winter Spice Wipes. I love the Zoflora Wipes. I think they are amazing. They're great to just like go over the worktops and they smell so strong. Got these in Winter Spice, which is one of my favorites. And also as well, so the, the, <laughs> why can't I speak? The Zoflora Winter Spice. Winter Spice, Gemma, not Splice. Spice. Spray also amazing i'm really happy with these then i also picked up some zoflora cranberry and orange i've run out of this and very looking forward to having that back in my cleaning cupboard then i got some harpic pine again very festive um oh this which goes in your toilet which is in winter warmth best believe our house is going to be smelling like Christmas and then the last items I got Jamie this quality street chocolate the purple one because he loves the purple and then the last item in this very random Christmas B&M haul I picked up these Airwick plugins again very exciting and these are in the scent cozy winter nights so my loves that is everything that I picked up from B&M really hope you enjoyed seeing what I picked up, as it's now our favourite season of them all, we have got lots of cosy, festive vlogs planned. We are actually going on our first little family holiday um, in a few weeks, which I'm so excited about. It's going to be so Christmassy and magical for Noah and I can't wait for you guys to come along with us. And yeah, we've got some really fun vlogs planned over the next few months, so looking forward to sharing those and yeah love you guys so much thank you all so much for watching hope you're all having a lovely weekend sending lots of positive vibes for the brand new week ahead and i'll catch up with you guys on sunday bye bye